Okay, hello everybody. It is time for another random ramen. I've been knocking these out pretty regularly lately, and I'm pretty happy about that. I've been getting a lot of tofu and fish cake and green onion and, and all that kind of stuff. We, we really like eating our ramens with those. So a lot of times it dissuades me from going for the dry noodles, the noodles that don't have like a broth or anything along with them. So on today's Ramen Abyss, we are going to be doing some of the Sam Yang Hot Chicken Cheese flavor. Now, I've had the Sam Yang noodles in the past, the ones that are just supposed to be blazing hot, and they're not going to surprise me when I have them. So let's check out this little number. Uh, it has a save about eight spoons of water. Uh, of the broth to, or excuse me, to mix with the seasoning and cheese to make the, the like paste or whatever. So I don't know how this would go with all those other ingredients that I normally like to have. So maybe we'll just leave those out today. This one, yeah, I'm really hoping that it departs from flavor in the other two Sam Yang packs that I do have back here, and I'm going to review. Maybe I'll review them in close proximity to this one. I just really like going through all the stuff that's going to, like, turn in my fridge. And those green onions, man. You get you get one pack of green onions. It, like, I defy you to use them all, audience. And I hate throwing them out. Don't tell me I should just throw them out. Shit. So... What can we tell you about this, just from looking at the package? Well, we can tell you that the sodium is 1440. I know, we're starting with sodium. Heresy. And that is not too bad. No fudge factor on this one. It is one serving per package. And can I say that despite how little real estate the product takes up, it's still... It's still got a nice representation on there. I mean, you can kind of see that they, they threw a lot of extra cheese on the top. And that is like proper melty cheese, not the Kiju powdered cheese that you're going to be getting in here. I don't know why I said Kiju. That's just another word for cheese. We found that out recently. Uh, I like the little mascot. I like the fact that he's sitting on a big old wheel of cheese. That's fantastic. Is this one supposed to appeal to the kids? Because that is like, this is like Saturday morning TV show here. Like, why is it? so big for the the cartoon and so little for the product itself despite that i absolutely love the way that this looks uh, if i pass this up on the shelf uh, it's probably because i'm more into the soups with a base and not so much the ones that just have like a paste but i gotta give this one full marks that is a beautiful package i am a fan of other sam yang products and i don't know if all of their packaging is this effective i really love the bright vibrant yellow of this too so full full marks two out of two on that packaging when it comes to ingredients for dry noodles i think i'm kind of in the dark because i normally have fish cake tofu and green onions back there i'm still gonna chop up some green onions to put in here after i've had a bite or two because one i need to go through the green onions and two hey it looks like that might be a topping for this one maybe that'll help the flavor before i do actually go cook this one i do want to say that the other flavors of these Tastes just like barbecue sauce with no sugar and lots of heat. Well, maybe a little bit of sugar. You know, they, they, they taste almost like they're mesquite or something, but less woody flavor. It, it's just like a, it's just like a oily, gross chili paste. You know, it's just like, what is happening here? But I can't really call it like a hot sauce because it doesn't have too many like vinegary notes or anything like that. It's just kind of like a hot mess of, of 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 gooey tar you know and i'm really hoping that the cheese departs from that and maybe even that there's a different kind of sauce packet in here we'll keep our fingers crossed we'll let you know when we get back from the pot see you then to the pot okay and we are back uh we've got the cheesy sam yang uh, chicken spicy noodles right in front of us and there was there was a couple of there was a couple of extra steps here uh, so you boil the water right and it says to do it in 600 milliliter, milliliters of water so um, that's not that's not like 
going to be a part of any broth or anything, but it does want you to take out eight spoonfuls of water and then put those in a bowl. And then mix that with the sauce, or you just mix the sauce and the water in the pan as you're stir frying it. But that's also another step, apparently, is that they want you to also stir fry these. So I'm not going to break out my wok for this, but I did put them in a pan uh, that had some oil in it. I mean, it looks like the noodles are taking in the, the excess moisture. I mean, do we call it a sauce? I think we're going to call it a sauce. It has you mix the sauce in the pan with the noodles as you're stir frying them. And then you take those off. You put the cheese packet on and then you serve and enjoy. I mean, enjoy. That could be subjective. It smelled a little bit like hot sick as I was uh, stir frying them, but that's not what this is about. It's about how they taste, right? And I gotta say, they look pretty cool. They're giving a nice sheen from my uh, studio lights here. And I did grab some extra green onions, so we'll see what that's like. I've always been pleased with the noodles in these ramen like ultra hot spicy packs they've always been a great texture and i've always liked them the problem with them has always been the accompanying paste or sauce or whatever you want to call it <clears throat> it's always been just a really gnarly flavor uh, very earthy and just hot it's like what is the point of this other than to you know Prove that you have bigger balls to your friends because you ate something spicier. Oh boy, that sounds like a delightful dining experience, doesn't it? Not to me. So, uh, when we review the other two packs, the, the red one and the black one, I don't know which one's spicier, probably the black one, because it's got the little chicken, like, spewing flames from his mouth or something. I don't know. It's, it's just like... what. That's the whole aesthetic of these, is that they're just intended to cause pain, you know? What a gimmick. I don't think these noodles are going to cause me any pain. They do look gorgeous. Big, thick noodles. Are these the Korean udon noodles? I recently made a claim about udon. I'm like, oh yeah, these aren't udon. They're way too small to be udon. There's lots of different udons, apparently. And this could definitely be one of them. Boy, howdy. Look at how thick those are. Look at how red they are, damn. It's gonna be one of those that gives me the, uh, the little lipstick here. That's gonna be hot. Oh baby, that's gonna be hot. I thought by picking the orange package, I would be getting one of the, uh, the more mild ones, but no, that shit, that shit is wrecking my shit already. Oh my God, I'm starting to sweat. So the, the noodles are delightful. For how big they are, they are, you know, relatively soft, and I do like that. A little softer than the Nong Shim ones. I did make sure I cooked it for five minutes. And then 30 seconds of stir frying, huh? Would the stir frying have been different if I had tried to make the noodles like crispy or something? I don't know. It said only do it for 30 seconds. And I got that pan nice and hot, so I don't know. Uh, maybe we will uh, refer to a more expert practitioner of the Sam Yang noodles. But yeah, those those noodles are, are very pleasant. I, I, I would like a little bit um, of a... Just a little bit more texture in them for, like, personal sake. Because that, that's what brings them to the Nongshim level, in my estimation. So we're giving these a six. I think I've given Sam Yang noodles a six before. Like them a lot. Just a, just a hair under a Nongshim noodle. Now, as for this sauce, or paste, we'll call it a sauce. It's, it's kind of a confused assortment of flavors. I really didn't think I would be getting a masterpiece here, but I also thought I'd get something a little bit more than this. It does have a bit of cheese to it. Like, you can taste that there's supposed to be a cheesy element to it, but it's a really, like, the gnarly... <laughs> it's kind of a gross cheese. It's like, um, it's like a burnt Cheez-It. Or something like that, you know, and it's it's not very prevalent in the flavor. And then that's where the, the flavor of the the weird gross sauce packet thing comes in. This is a mainstay for all of these super hot ramens. They just have this sachet of this oily black paste. 
and it is red once it's diluted and put on the noodles but boy howdy i've never been pleased with the flavor of it let's let's remind ourselves what it's like again it's like you can't call it like a ketchup like a, a, a tomato paste kind of thing, because tomatoes are really tangy. But tomatoes are also, they have they have a very uh, understated flavor to them as well. Like if you take away all the citrus, it's like you get that, and then you you condense that. It's just, just like a, re, a, a tomato paste and molasses, take away all the sugar and all the tanginess. That's what we got. It's just like this thick, adhering paste onto these noodles. And it's got heat to it. But the flavor is just like... I, I, is it supposed to be chicken? I don't know. Maybe there's a little chicken bullion in there somewhere. It's it's really not reminding me of any other chicken flavors I've ever, I've ever had. Is it better than the originals? I mean, the, the cheesiness is almost distracting. You know, it, it punches you in the face with like this sharp cheese smell. Like, it doesn't smell like a... Uh... Or cheddar cheese, really? It smells like just, you know, a stinky cheese. And that, paired with the other flavor, I can't tell you if that's a great thing. I can't say I approve. I can't remember what I give the other ones, but I'm giving this paste a four. Um, it's not, like, disgusting or anything, but it's not appealing in any way. I wouldn't buy any of these products for myself. Uh, I, I know other ramens that are very spicy but they have a really nice accompanying broth along with that um really delightful red korean chili pepper you mix that along with a, a simple base and you get something really magical here it's just like oh gosh and and every bite's gonna be the same too so this is just gonna be all kind of like ew stinky cheese plus bland earthy the spiciness, you know, and that's that's just it and I'm I'm not happy with it price 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 You know what's sad about this is that I know I can get this on the market and I know that there are other Ramens that are much better that I can't get a hold of anymore because they went by the wayside They didn't have like a gimmick to ride on like this Sam Yang stuff does because like I couldn't tell you that um, I, I know anybody who would be pleased by this product. This is just something that you get through. This is something that you just try to power down before your friend, you know, and try to make some views on it. It's, it's, it's really nothing I can endorse. Looks like I can get these. Ooh, they got a, a, a chicken curry, Roman. I, I wanna try that one. Give me a little bit of curry flavor in this shit. That would be a lot better. So it looks like there is quite a spread on prices for these, but it looks like the most reasonable is five bags for $5.99. I believe that's going to put this in the 5 out of 10 price range. Maybe we can find them sold individually for more than $1.10 or... or excuse me, for less than $1.10. I doubt, I, I doubt you'd find this for less than $1.10. It might sell some places for more than 150, in which case that would move it down a ranking, but we're going to give this one the benefit of the doubt and say it's a 5 out of 10. Now, extras on this one. Uh, do we give this a bonus? Because I am really not happy with this extra addition of cheese. Like, like just hovering over this product normally is already unpleasant, but having that extra, like, punch of, like, sour cheese is like, oh, man. That makes getting this down even worse. I, so I don't think I'm even going to, uh, I'm going to invoke that extra bonus point for the cheese packet. And then something else in there too. What was that, like nori? Whatever it was, it's not strong enough to really detect. So I, I just, I, I, I just don't like this. I don't like this ramen, everybody. I'm probably not gonna like the other ones either, but I can say that uh, I, I was, hoping for something today and was generously let down. Well, everybody, I wish I could say that I was going to enjoy uh, the rest of these noodles, but uh, like I said, we're just going to choke them down and see if we can't prove to ourselves that we're a man. Uh, adding some extra green onions now, a whole lot of them. 
So hopefully that uh, reigns in the flavor of these bad boys a little bit. Makes them a little bit more palatable. So you should be seeing my final deliberations on the screen right now. Thank you all so much for joining me on this episode of Ramen Abyss. And we will see you next time. Hopefully we get something better. Probably going to be a soup base. I don't think I want to keep doing these Sam Yang ones. Aside from them being like not that tasty, they do cause issues on the old turlet. So we're going to we're going to give our our old tum tum a little rest. So see you next time everybody. Bye bye bye. Look at my red old lips. Thanks for watching, everybody, and an even bigger thanks goes out to the people still supporting me on Patreon. You guys are amazing, and I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for continuing your support. It really motivates me to keep me going. Also, remember to catch me on Twitch every day except Tuesdays and Saturdays, 5 to 10 p.m. I play loads of Binding of Isaac and Jackbox and other things, too. Hope to see you there.